Hello everyone, it's time to practice. American English File, second edition, book one, workbook. It's chapter seven, practical English. Let's do it. All right, getting lost. Do you remember the directions, Rob and Jenny? Yeah. So, vocabulary, directions, complete the words. Okay, for example, turn, number one, look, number one, this is number one, turn left. Okay, very good. Now, stop the video and do it. Good. Check your answers with your partner. Well done. All right, let's do it together. Number two, go straight ahead. Okay, number three, turn right. Number four, go past the train station, go past the church, go past the train station. Number five, on the corner, especially in football. Have you seen the corner shot here? Yeah. On the corner. Number six, across from, look. Number six, across from, in front of, in front of, across from. Number seven, a bridge, a bridge and number eight at the traffic lights at the traffic lights well done everybody good start let's move on now asking for the directions for example complete the dialogue with these words exactly excuse miss near say sorry tell way where's for example a Excuse me, please. Right? And the next part, social English. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. For example, number one, what a view. You remember, right? Okay, then stop the video and do it. Good. Check your answers with your partner. Well done. Okay, let's do it together. Excuse me, please. Where is the train station? Sorry. I don't live here. Okay, excuse me, is the train station near here? The train station, it's near here, but I don't know exactly where, exactly. Sorry. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to train station, please? Can you tell me the way to train station, please? Yes, of course. Go past the hotel. Then turn left at the traffic lights. It's at the end of the street. Sorry. Could you say that again, please? Yes. Go past the hotel. Then turn left at the traffic lights. And it's at the end of the street. You can't. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Thank you. All right. Now, social English. What a view. Number two. What would you like to visit? Number three, what is there to see? Number four, we could go to the art gallery. Number five, would you like to meet for lunch? Hmm. Number six, that's really nice of you. That's very kind of you. Number seven, maybe another time. Number eight, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Well done. You did very good. Excellent. Okay, reading. Now, everybody, do it yourself. Reading. By bus, by car, by train. Read the information. Write true or false. Again, true or false. All right, let's do it together. By bus. In the US, an economical way for traveling long distances is by bus. Economical. The most important company is Greyhound, which has frequent service between cities. Greyhound is also a convenient way for traveling to smaller cities and towns that don't have other forms of transportation, like trains and airplanes. Or airplanes. Traveling by bus is usually cheap if you buy your ticket early and travel at times of day that are not busy. By car. Many people travel by car in the US. It can be expensive. 
it's going to cost money and there's often a lot of traffic however traveling by car means that you can be independent and flexible also a car with three or more passengers can be cheaper than public transportation you can go quickly from one city to the next on freeways but small roads are often more scenic and fun Parking in big cities can be difficult and very expensive. Some cities like Denver, Baltimore, or Phil and Philadelphia have light rail train system. You can park outside the city in a free parking lot and then take a light rail train downtown. So you park it outside and you go to town. Hmm. By train. Trains are generally faster and more comfortable than buses for long distance travel. But they can be a lot more expensive. There is only one train company that operates train service in the U.S. And it, that is Amtrak. Amtrak. Passengers can get information on timetables and fares from the Amtrak website. Which also has a way to buy tickets. Online, you can buy online. There are three types of tickets. Coach class, business class, and first class. Tickets are cheaper if you buy them early. Okay. Now, everybody, true or false? Let's do it. Taking a bus is a slow way to travel. True. The best time to travel by bus is at quiet times. True or false? True. Number three, there isn't much traffic in the US. False. Number four, you need to pay for parking when you use light rail in Denver. False. You can buy tickets from Amtrak. True. All right. Now, there are some highlighted words. All right match the highlighted adjectives to their meanings okay do it go check it with your partner beautiful scenic easy to do convenient cheap economical easy to change something flexible this is important flexible happening often frequent well done everybody you did very good all right another practice done Everybody, you are making good progress. I've got your back. Practice every day, train every day, and never quit. Remember, nothing good comes out of quitting. See you soon.